Hello and welcome to my talk on Pipesa. That is free software for investment planning in sector coupled energy systems. My name is Fabian and I'm a PhD student in the group of Tom Brown at the Institute of Automation and Applied Informatics at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany. In our group, we research the most cost-effective pathways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And we usually do this by co-optimization of all the infrastructures involved, uh, such as generation, storage and transmission, to be able to assess the multitude of trade-offs that are involved. We specifically also consider power grid reinforcement and look at the requirements as large shares of wind and solar generation enter the system. Because we are located at an informatics department, we are also very interested in algorithms to increase the tractability of our energy systems, uh, both from spatial and temporal and also model reduction. We do all this with open source software. We think that the whole chain from raw data to modeling results and publication should be open. And we are not the only ones who think that. There's a whole grassroots initiative for that, the Open Energy Modeling Initiative, that endorses open data and free software development in academia uh, for transparency and reproducibility of the results. Today, I'll introduce you to our stack of software and models. And I will start with the Python package Pipesa, which we use as a framework for our models, namely Pipesa EOR, which is an open optimization model of the European power transmission system. And also uh, we will look at a sector coupling model, Pipesa EOR SEC, uh, that extends on uh, the electricity system model. So Python for power system analysis, or Pipesa in short, is an open source tool for modeling energy systems at high spatial and temporal resolution. Uh, the original motivation to develop this software was filling the missing gap between classical load, for, load flow software, such as Power Factory and Mad Power, and energy system simulation software, such as Times, Osmosis, or Plexos. We notice and acknowledge that good grid modeling is becoming increasingly important for the integration of renewables and also when we look beyond just the electricity sector and consider the electrification of transport, heating and industry sectors. Pipeso can do static power flow analysis using newton refton algorithm, including a distributed Slack implementation that was added recently, but also linear optimal power flow. We put particular focus on uh, optimization across multiple periods uh, to account for uh, long-term energy storage and also coupling to other energy sectors. Uh, we have formulations for security constraint, linear optimal power flow, and also unit commitment. The feature that we use the most is the coordinated total energy system capacity expansion of which LOPF is definitely a part. Pipesa has models for meshed AC and DC networks, including controllable converters, and draws on the standard line types and transformer types that are given in the implementation of Panda Power. Uh, we include both uh, conventional dispatchable generators with unit commitment, as well as generators with time varying power availability, such as wind and solar generators. We include storage units with efficiency losses and simple hydroelectricity models with inflow and spillage. We kept the components of pipes are very general so that they are easy to extend and also allow easy coupling of other energy carriers, such as power to gas, power to liquid, uh, power to heat, direct air capture, district heating, gas networks, electric vehicles, carbon capture and usage and sequestration. By now, Pipesa is used worldwide by dozens of research institutes and companies, and a few of them are listed on the left-hand side, and the map shows from what locations the website is accessed. I mentioned before that Pipesa is designed to sit between energy system models and classical power system tools. 
And I've brought this non-exclusive overview here, which compares some of the existing tools and some of these are also represented in this panel session. So first of all, you can see a distinction between free and commercial software, where the open source software is closer to Pipesa. Secondly, you can see that the tools uh, located above Pipesa are stronger with regards to power flow, continuation power flow, or dynamic analysis. Whereas uh, in terms of the economic analysis, uh, the energy system tools located below pipes are, um, are more comprehensive. On a technical note, pipes are leans heavily on the packages pandas for storing data about components and time series, which is very convenient to use, and NumPy and SciPy for linear algebra and sparse matrix calculations, as well as Network X for uh, graph theory and network calculations. We are also using Payomo for interfacing with the different commercial and open source solvers, but recently have also experimented with a custom optimization framework as an alternative to Payomo uh, in order to save memory. Now, this has been quite successful, shaving off about two thirds of memory consumption of our big optimization problems. Another maybe interesting feature is that uh, we do unit testing with PyTest and we compare our results to the outputs of PyPower and PandaPower. So here's a simple example how to use Pipesa in a Jupyter notebook or a simple Python script. You import it as Pipesa and then you create a network object which is a container for all the components of the power system, such as generators, lines, or loads. And then you can call the linear optimal power flow function that uh, you pass arguments such as the solver name, some solver options, etc. You can then, for example, access static attributes such as the optimized uh, capacities of generators or also the time dependent dispatch of generators. There's some plotting functionality available to plot it on the map, like you have seen already. And you can also run an AC power flow based on the optimized dispatch. So for the bigger problems, we look at the long-term cost optimal energy system, looking at both investments and short-term costs. So we try to minimize the yearly system costs. And we have a lot of constraints, such as meeting the energy demand, transmission constraints between the nodes and the power flow and the availability time series of the renewables. Also, we have geographical potentials for the renewables and we do this uh, to fulfill a certain CO2 emission reduction target. As you all can probably relate, uh, building these kinds of optimization problems for a whole continent such as Europe or the United States can be quite a data intense project. And the challenges of data driven modeling are first of all that there are many different data sources and many of these need cleaning and processing before we can actually use them. Uh, we often create many intermediate scripts and data sets and by doing so the dependencies between those are often not very clear, both relating to data and software. We also have the problem that data and code change over time uh, while at the same time uh, wanting to reproduce the results at any time. Moreover, uh, running parametric scenarios is always a very good idea. What we need is a workflow management tool, and we are lucky that such a tool exists with SnakeMake. Uh, that has support for Bash, Python, Julia, and R scripts, and very neat uh, high-performance computing cluster integration. The basic idea is to define rules with certain input and output files, uh, which are created by a particular script. And many of these rules are then tied together in a snake file, similar to a make file, uh, such that the hierarchy between inputs and outputs is documented. We are now moving on from the modeling toolbox Pipesa towards an application, Pipesa UR. And what is Pipesa UR? 
it is exactly an automated and configurable workflow based on SnakeMake to build a model of the European power transmission system from open raw data. It covers the whole NSOE area, so the area of European transmission system operators and contains all AC lines at and above 220 kilovolts substations as well as HVDC links, some of them uh, from the TYNDP, the network development plan. It also includes a database of conventional power plants, time series for electrical demand, variable renewable generation, as well as geographical potentials for the expansion of wind and solar power. The dependency graph of SnakeMake rules for pipes at UR can be quite complex at the start, but I wanted to show it anyways to illustrate how everything is tied together. From retrieving the network topology to building the renewable profiles of the different carriers to simplification and clustering steps. Based on the network topology, we obtain many different regions in Europe for which we can calculate the installable potential based on uh, land cover databases and natural protection areas as well as bathymetry datasets. For each of these cells, per unit time series of solar and wind generation are derived from reanalysis weather data, uh, for example, ERA5 and satellite-based SARA2 using solar panel and wind turbine models. Because coordinated capacity expansion planning at full network resolution would not be computationally feasible, PIPESA also includes network clustering functionality so that we can cluster the network down to 512 or even 128 nodes. The SnakeMake workflow is also very useful for managing scenarios uh, in that we can analyze the sensitivity of uh, different aggregation levels, uh, temporal clustering levels or different CO2 targets with a single command. So far we have only looked at the power system, but to limit global warming we need to decarbonize all energy sectors while obeying the spatial constraints from network congestion and resource availability as well as the temporal constraints relating to long and short term storage. Pipes are EURSEC extends the Pipes are EUR power system model with the transport sector, heating sector, industry sector, aviation and shipping. This yields a more comprehensive but also a significantly more complex view of the European energy system. In addition to more demand sectors, the sector coupled system includes a richer set of technologies and many more conversion paths between the different energy carriers. So here's an example of a challenging period for the sector coupled energy system. It's a cold week in winter with low wind and solar generation, high space heating demand, as well as low air temperatures, which are bad for the air source heat pump performance. The less smart solution would be using backup gas boilers. The smart solution, however, would be to use long-term thermal energy storage in district heating networks. When we look at the least cost solution for the whole European energy system at zero emissions and allowing 25% more grid volume, we observe lots of offshore and onshore wind coupled with hydrogen storage in the North Sea region and more evenly distributed solar power plus power to heat. Using SnakeMake, it's also very easy to perform sensitivity analyses regarding factors that are critical for social acceptance. In this example, the amount of transmission line expansion. Here we can see that systems without grid expansion are feasible, but more costly. As the grid is expanded, costs reduce from solar and power to gas, but we spend more on offshore wind. The total cost benefit of extra grid is about 47 billion euros per year, but already half of the benefit is available at only 25% grid expansion. So much about some preliminary results, and now the conclusion. 
Pipesar is for researchers, planners, and utilities who need an easy to use tool for power system analysis. It is maybe not so useful for dynamic analyses, short circuit calculations, multi-phase or unbalanced load flow in low voltage distribution grids, but it's very useful for investment planning with high spatial and temporal scope and detail. Uh, it can also be used for electricity market analyses and has very convenient design to couple with other sectors and adding custom constraints and components. I did also show you the open energy or power system models pipes at UR and pipes at URSEC, which can be used for both operational and investment planning studies. Thank you for your attention.